we about to watch this amazing magician. Audition. Audition. Simone Cowell. And he's the only one that does this, so that's why it's so amazing. The only kid on the Who are you? Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Stephen oh. Bridge. What are you doing for us today with those bags? I am going to do Rubik's Cube magic today. Rubik's Cube magic? What? The act that I do, I'm the only... What is Rubik's Cube magic? I don't know, but people, you really can't figure out those Rubik's Cubes. What you do is you take a sticker off and you put it on this color. The person <laughs> in the world that actually does it. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Awesome. Can I step down towards you? Why not? Awesome. awesome. Uh, so we're going to try something with the Rubik's Cube. We're going to mix it up on all six sides. Now there's 43 quintillion different ways you can mix it up. So watch that clip. This was a quintillion. Close. Completely mix it up, one-handed in the bag as fully as possible. Back to solve. <laughs> There's two in the bag. Obviously. I think you have a guess on how I do that, right? Some people guess there's a second cube in the bag. I will prove the bag is empty. Look, I'll check. Completely empty. Completely empty. He's holding it. He's holding it in his hand. Yes. He He's clearly holding it. He's like holding it right there. And he's Can like, I get it? Absolutely. Very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> that part was amazing. <laughs> Simon, I'm going to do something that's never been done before on TV. Uh, yeah, Simon, yeah. can you actually mix up that Rubik's? You turn it as much as you want. Now, every time you turn it, that's a different one of those 43 quintillion permutations. Simon, whenever you're happy, I will take the cube that you just mixed up and put it back in the bag. Watch that close. Simon's mixed up Rubik's cube. Incredible. Bruh. I'm trying to watch close. There was not a second Rubik's cube in the bag. <laughs> but that's not the trick. I'm being sure you're still paying attention, Simon. Can you actually See? cover it up on all six sides? Cover it up? Perfect. Like that? Yeah. Now, when you think of a solid Rubik's cube, what do you actually picture? Solids. Colors, right? What if I told you that I found a different solution to the Rubik's cube? Watch close. Right about. Watch closely. And pause every time. Right about there. See, the different solution was to match the Rubik's Cube that Simon mixed up 30 seconds ago. You have. No. So if I did match it, you're going to notice we have one side that's going to be a completely. Bruh. How you do that? Side though, that's gonna be no, because he had mixed it up first, right? Uh, with Ruben, what's the name? Yeah, he mixed Simon, it up, whatever. but then Simon got to do whatever he wanted. Yeah, he did it. whatever he want, boom, 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 and gave it back to him. Side number two, that is three, that is four. Are they all matching? Yeah, they are. Like they're literally matching. Uh, everything. Four that is five. Yeah. That is all six sides are completely perfect. I mean, it's amazing, but it's not like something I'd be like. I mean, he can obviously make money off of doing that, like travel and stuff, but yeah. he shouldn't like win. I shouldn't win, and you know it's not really magic. It's just a trick. Yeah, it's just like he got a trick. He got some. When he did that first one, he he was holding the bag. He was holding that second one, and but some. Then, but then he went like that. He crushed it. Yeah, he crushed it and gave it to her. She didn't open it back up. <laughs> That's why she thought it was amazing. Because her instincts was like, whoa, he just crushed it. Why would I open it back up? It might, and, and the Rubik's cube might have been. Like a like one of those phone ones. Yeah. Oh. So we, like I said, we could be magicians if we really wanted to. We already know the tricks because we're actually like magicians ourselves. Yeah. So. Yeah. She made all the food that. disappear.